you see my mascot? No, no, not me. Don't know what you're talking about. Wow, looks like a war zone. Hold it right there. I'm requisitioning this ship in the name of the Federation. You can't do that. I'm a registered Federation law enforcer. I paid my subscription. Sorry, lady cop, but my orders are to keep this ship right here. My corporal is going to remove your ship's navigational gyro, just so you don't get any funny ideas about stealing your ship back. Hey, do I look like a thief? I'm here to sunbathe. My skin needs the sun's rays. Shut up about your appearance for once, lad. Listen, army man, you'll be sorry about this. I'm sure you'll fill out lots of complaint forms, call my superior officer, and make a thorough nuisance of yourself. But there's a war going on here, and the army's in charge. Thank you for your cooperation. You are free to go where you please. Unless it's a restricted area, of course. Have a nice day. Maybe we can find out some answers here. Let's find the forces, Commander. What are you doing? I'm going to try to get my ship back. What do you want me to do? Find where they keep the gyro and steal it back. It's a combat scooter. One of the scooter mechanics must have dropped that wrench. holds the latrine steady, in case of sudden gusts of wind, I guess. Get out of here, boy, boy! Nice army you got here. Yes, brave lad, one and all. Especially the squad I've sent off to tackle the invading forces. Facing insurmountable odds, my boys will die with dignity. You expect your men to die? Oh, yes. We haven't attained our correct casualty quota for this week yet. My statistics must tally with the projected figures. Let us have our ship back. Uh, it belongs to the military now. I don't speak to authority. all my possessions. the gyro from the Relentless. Those soldiers stole it. How 
I'll never be able to open that door. It's an Annihilator class battle tank. She can't be in the tank, can she? Oh no, she is. She's stealing the tank. She's locked the door, women drivers. Stop the tank. I want to get off. Oh, shut up. See if you can find some sort of control switch for the tank's cannon out there. Turn it to on. Okay, but you'd better stop when I've done it. If I broke those, the tank would stop. Tempting, but I'd better not. The tank is fully armed already. It was you, wasn't it? You destroyed that tank which was about to kill us. I don't know why you did it, but thanks anyway. I couldn't sit there and watch you die. It was the right thing to do. Oh, please. With all this sentiment and bad driving, I think I'm gonna throw up. Come on, let's get back to the ship. In a minute. There's something I need to do first. Leave that alone, lad. I'll handle the technical stuff. Now I've got one of the vectors to the invader's homeworld. Navigation gyro should be. In place. Good. I got one of the vectors to the invader's homeworld. Now we have to find another one. Apparently there's a lot of radio transmitter activity on Gelt. You'd like it there. It's a leisure resort. Shame there won't be anyone left alive. Guess I'll have to pour my own drinks then. You have no compassion. Don't you care about what's happening? Nope. No? Well, yeah. Sort of. I've never cared about anyone but myself before. No one's worth caring about. If you stopped indulging yourself in hedonistic practices, maybe you'd find someone who is. Listen up, Jack. This is a large entertainment complex, and you know what that means. Drinking, 
gambling, women. Yes, I'm afraid so. Sounds like heaven. Which is exactly why I want you to stay on board. You just hang around here whilst I find the alien beacon. I'm sure you can think of something to occupy your mind. It's not my mind that needs occupying. I want to leave the ship. Why go out there? What's wrong with it in here? I want to see this place for myself. You think I'm stupid? You want to go and gamble and get up to no good? This is no way for a grown man to behave. I want to leave the ship. Why go out there? What's wrong with it in here? I think Izan needs some help. What help are you? You'll help her get into trouble given half a chance, I'm sure. I want to leave the ship. Why go out there? What's wrong with it in here? I need a drink. So stay in here. I can replicate some chicken soup like only Booba knows how. I think I'll pass, thanks. I want to leave the ship. Why go out there? What's wrong with it in here? Yzan could be in danger. My Yzan's in trouble? She should have a man to protect her. Since we have no real men around, you'll have to do. Get out there, quick! I must go, Booba. Be well, Jack. can't resist a sneak around this place. Hello there. I'm sorry, I, I can't talk right now. I'm supposed to be meeting some colleagues that my company have sent here. Welcome, sir. I'm losing myself in your deep eyes. I am just privileged to have set eyes on such a perfect example of the male physique. You've got a fantastic figure. Not as lean as your fine body, sir. Any girl would be proud to inspect your form at close quarters. Would you like a closer look at my body? I can think of nothing greater than rubbing massaging oils over every one of your highly developed muscles and gently caressing every area of your bare flesh. What are you doing after work tonight? I'm switched off, sir. Switched off? Oh, yes, sir. I am a biogenetic simuloid. An artificial replicated human form. Oh, I see. Uh, but that doesn't mean you can't still do all that rubbing stuff you were talking about. I'm afraid that's not possible, sir. I'm just programmed to flirt outrageously. I am presently set on tantalized tease and titillate mode. Our customers seem to like it. I hope I haven't caused you any inconvenience. Nothing a good dry clean won't fix. What is this place? Welcome to the Lucky Store. We are the universally renowned casino and hotel complex. Please let me know how I can help you. Can I come in? And who are you, sir? The name's Lad. Jack T. Lad. I'm awfully sorry, sir. I don't seem to have you memorized as an expected guest. Didn't your mother always tell you to expect the unexpected? I'm what she was referring to. I have no doubt, sir, but I'm afraid I have to abide by the rules. This is a casino, and I'm Jack. The two go together like bread and butter, like peanut butter and jelly, like girls' school changing rooms and peepholes. You must allow me in. Sorry, sir, but unless you're an expected party, I have my instructions. I don't need any more help, thanks. Good fortune to you, sir. I'm afraid you can't go through there, sir. I'm with him. Please go on through. He's a mean-looking bouncer. He's a sharp, shuffling dealer. They're playing a game. He's busy gambling his money away. The cabaret isn't performing tonight. There stands another poor gambler. The cabaret isn't performing tonight. They're playing a game. He's a card dealer. They're playing a game. I believe the correct term for his job is behavioral supervisor and enforcer. 
He doesn't look in the mood for a philosophical discussion debating the significance or futility of an individual existence. Please do not interrupt. We are in the middle of a game. Now is not the time for me to try to start a meaningful relationship with her. Leave me alone. I'm busy playing. I see no point in requesting a drink when there's no intoxicating ingredients. Now is not the time for me to try to start a meaningful relationship with her. My favorite type of droid, one that serves drinks. Shame they're not alcoholic. He's busy gambling his money away. This looks like fun. How do I take part? We are playing an unusual game, sir. One designed for the more experienced player. Hey, I've had more experience gambling than I've had dating redheads. I'll master the game in no time, and I'm willing to bet on it. But sir appears to have no stake. I'm worth a fortune. I arrived on that large spaceship in the docking bay, you know. Very well, sir. A little more practice may be needed. Wow, that's a tough game. But I love a good challenge. I think I'm just getting the hang of the rules. Let's play. I'm sorry, sir, but you have lost your stake. The house now owns your starship. What? You didn't think I was serious about betting the ship, did you? <laughs> just a little gaming room humor. I mean, the Relentless doesn't even belong to me. Excuse me, sir. We take a very dim view of patrons gambling with stakes they did not own. I'm afraid that we have strict rules for dealing with dishonesty here. We don't need the likes of you round here, capiche? You need to be taught a lesson. Carl, take this lowlife and deal with him appropriately. I bet you've never done an honest day's work in your life. Well, you can start today by helping out our chef. This is the most important ingredient of any dish. Once you put this on, everyone assumes you're a great cook. I see nothing special. The fluid in this jug smells really sour. It seems to contain some sweet-smelling liquid. You're not going anywhere until Chef says so. He's here to ensure I don't play hooky. As if. In these four walls, what he says is gospel. So you are the lowlife who must somehow assist me, eh? Have you had any experience in the kitchen? No, not really. Such ignorance of surely the world's oldest profession. I wouldn't say that exactly. So, you're the cook. The cook? Impudent creature. I am the chef. I am the creator of the finest cuisine in the whole of the galaxy. My sheer brilliance is boundless, and I shall be recorded in history as a master of my craft. Can you give me any betting tips? Only that the man who upsets the chef is gambling with his life. What do you think about the alien invasion? I care not about any invading force, unless, of course, it means a change to the number for dinner. Can I go yet? Well, is your dedication to the culinary arts. You have not yet completed your given honor of assisting me. What do you want me to do? Now, before we begin, have you washed your hands? But of course, chef. Good. Now I am only trusting you with a very simple task. You shall mix my special nubacious follicle sauce. What should I do first? I can see that in your case, for the sake of hygiene, covering your hair will be an absolute necessity. How do I make this sauce stuff? I have left all the necessary ingredients over by the cooker. You will touch nothing else in here. Be sure to add the sweet broth followed by the sour puree and then the bitter mix. Once you are done, bring me a sample of your produce. Please carry on with your work. I do not merely work. I practice my art form to the highest degree of perfection.
sample of the food I've prepared. Well, what do you think? Ah, now this is on the borders of being in the realm of very slight acceptability. Because I am of such a benevolent and kind nature, I deem that your duties here are complete. All I ask is that you never return. Just get out of here, pal. Okay, pal. You're free to leave. But the boss wants to see you upstairs. By the way, Mr. Pastry Hat, remember I told you that I'd wash my hands? I lied. Get out! Get out! Get out! He's still busy looking for the rest of his party. Good day to you, sir. Does sir wish me to find a replacement for his jacket? What's wrong with my jacket? It's not quite the caliber of attire we're used to in this establishment, sir. Would you like me to completely strip? I don't think that will be necessary. Sir is obviously happy with his dress. Can I book a room here? Sir should be aware that due to the gambling element that exists here, we ask patrons to pay for accommodation in advance. Can you accept my solemn promise as advance payment for a room? With all due respect, sir, I cannot accept the word of any man who considers leather apparel to be a necessary part of his wardrobe. Do you know how to play any of the games in the casino? I do not frequent that area of this complex. Can you lend me some money? Surely, sir, is joking. Do you understand all that polite etiquette stuff? Of course, sir. One should learn that it is a crime to perform an action that would offend your associates. That's similar to one of my sayings. The more offenders I associate with, the greater criminal actions I can learn. Can you explain which cutlery I should use at dinner? Certainly, sir. You should use the outer cutlery first and work your way inwards. Oh. Uh, the question I really wanted answering was whether to use the plastic fork or cardboard spoon to scoff my beads. So, what's wrong with drinking out of a saucer? So that is the habit of an animal. Sounds like you've been talking to some of my ex-girlfriends. It's been an education talking to you. Goodbye, sir. She's the receptionist. Do you need any help, sir? Hello there. And to whom do I have the pleasure of talking? My name is Miss Fjord, sir. Can I call you by your first name, Miss Fjord? My first name is Harrisianetta. For the sake of proper office etiquette and to save your pronunciation efforts, I would prefer to use Miss Fjord, sir. And what does Miss Fjord do here? I run this office, sir. I am responsible for controlling appointments, controlling correspondence, and handling all administration. What do you do to relax? I must confess, sir, that occasionally I do let myself go a bit. I permit myself to indulge in a bit of filing. What are you doing with those papers? I am busy sorting out these sheets alphabetically, whilst cross-referencing the indexes with the alternately titled contents pages. Of course, that's as well as filing the predated referral codes against the sequentially referenced order numbers. If only I had the time, or even the slightest inclination, to help you. I've never been called Sir so much. And what are you normally called, sir? You know, you'd be great at feeding the straight lines in a comedy act. Oh no, sir. I'm quite happy in this job. I just bet you are. You have quite an unusual name. Yes, I know, sir. My parents insist it was after some ancient Earth video star. In my experience, most parents are struck by a sudden impulse to come up with a really original name, which invariably leads to a life of misery for their poor child. Your boss wanted to see me. Yes, Mr. Ladd, isn't it? Please go on through. Well, well, well. If it isn't my old buddy, Jack T. Ladd. Tenant, what are you doing here? And why are you sitting in the boss's chair? Why do you think, Jack? I am the boss. 
He's the owner of this joint. I haven't seen you in ages. Yeah, and I'm pleased to say that life is pretty good at the moment. In fact, coincidentally, things started looking up just after we parted company. How did you know I was here? When I heard that some guy was gambling away a ship that wasn't even his, I had this strange feeling that you were about. Can I have my ship back? I'm real sorry, Jack. Please understand that I can't be seen to grant special favors to my old drinking pals. Why did you let me sweat in the kitchens? Hey, Jack, I still owed you for that time I ended up bound naked and covered in honey next to the den of hungry and randy prickly bears. Remember? How did you get to be boss here? Piece of cake, Jack. I won the whole place in a card game. The stakes were real high that night. If I would have lost, my chances of ever having kids would have been cut by half. Literally. How's your love life? Definitely on the up. In fact, I think you're about to see for yourself. Hi there, boys. This is the beauty who is responsible for my extreme state of happiness. Jack, I'd like you to meet. Ruthie, pa-pow to pa-pow. It's been a long time, Ruthie. You two know each other? If you want me, I'll be outside. So how well do you know Ruthie? Mostly in the biblical sense. We had a thing going a while ago. It was your usual story of boy meets girl, girl meets boy. Boy meets girl's grandlord, master father. Girl's father creates secret crystal to gain access to another dimension holding universe's tax records. Boy uses crystal to destroy lord master's sky city. Girl and boy set off into sunset. Girl dumps boy and runs off with record producer who says he can make her a star. Anyway, that's a different story. See you around, tenant. Count on it, Jack. What are you doing with Tennant? He's such a lowlife. And what do you know of him, Jack? He's one of my oldest drinking partners. We've been through a lot together. Through a lot of beer, through a lot of women, through a lot of bar windows. Are you happy here? I should say so. I used to think happiness was having a walk-in closet. Now I've got a drive through wardrobe. Did you recover after I left you? Hey. I left you. Well, technically speaking, I suppose you did. And just because I couldn't afford that new cocktail dress you wanted. A girl has to have her priorities. We made such sweet music together. Some might say you're tone deaf, Jack. Could you lend me some money? Just so that you can gamble it all away? I think I've sacrificed enough in my life for you to owe me. I'll take that as a no, then. Will you help me? That depends on what you want. I need Tennant to return my ship. I suppose I could help you out for old time's sake. I'll see if I can persuade him to be a little more understanding. Dum -da -dum. Ooh. <sighs> oh, Ruthie. Oh, Tennant. Oh, sorry. Sounds like Ruthie's found out why he's called Two Second Tenant. Anyway, he sounds like he's persuaded by now. Can I help you, sir? Do you need any help, sir? Your boss wanted to see me. Yes, Mr. Ladd, isn't it? Please go on through. I have my ship back. Ruthie has convinced me that I should give you a fair chance to get your ship back. You're going to have to win it back. I'll tell the croupiers to let you play the tables. Bring me at least 40 credits, and the ship is yours. Can I have some free credit? No can do, buddy. Anyway, as I recall, you still owe me money from the last time I bailed you out on Kinos Gamma. How about a drink? I'm afraid alcohol is illegal on this planet. Anyway, 
I gave up the liquor after the last time we met. Maybe you've forgotten what we did with that Hershey and pig monkey in those tongs, but I had to have surgery and months of counseling. See you around, Tenant. Count on it, Jack. This looks like my sort of place. Mine too. The sound of cards hitting bays makes my neck hairs stand on end. I know what you mean. I get something kind of similar involving leather and bare flesh. Can I get a drink around here? I'm afraid not. Any intoxicating substances are illegal on this planet. You may be about to see a grown man cry. Why is there no cabaret performing tonight? The dancers are so erotic, and the audiences get so frenzied that they only perform every other night to let everyone recover. I'd swear that Yizan timed our visit here deliberately. How's your luck holding out today? Great, thanks. For the first time in ages, my pockets are stuffed with winnings. I've decided to just watch for the rest of today. Could I borrow some of your chips? I'd love to share my good fortune, but unfortunately I've got this large tax bill hanging over my head. And you know what those tax men are like. Believe me, I know. Do you know how to play all the games here? I'm no expert, but I've been coming here long enough to know all the rules. Do you know how to play the game at this table? A tricky game to master, but I'm pretty good. Can you give me some pointers on gameplay? I'm having so much fun watching you work it out. You play a little bit more, and then maybe I'll help you. I've got some serious gambling to do. Good luck. It looks like his pocket is crammed full of casino chips. Wow, she looks like she should be on global television. These stupid laces just won't stay tied. I can't leave things all over the place. I don't want to lose all my possessions. Well played, sir. It would seem you have mastered the game. Well played, sir. It would seem you have mastered the game. Well played, sir. It would seem you have mastered the game. Help, sir. I need to speak to Tennant. Certainly, Mr. Ladd. See you around, Tennant. Count on it, Jack. 
Good on you, Jack. I see you haven't lost your old skills. You can have your ship back. But if anyone should ask, it had nothing to do with me. Okay? I really ought to get back to the ship before I missed. Welcome back at last. I've been so bored stuck in here. You took your time down there. I've uh, been keeping watch, making sure no aliens got on board. Uh, none did, by the way. Good. I've got the coordinates to find the invaders' homeworld now. But we've received a distress call. A bunch of colonists are being attacked by indigenous creatures on an unexplored planet not too far from here. We're the closest Federation ship. Why haven't the invaders attacked that planet? They must have ignored it, since officially there are no humans there. Let's get going then. The Jack Lad Cavalry to the rescue. You know, Lad, I think there may be a human being inside you. Deep, deep down inside, struggling to get out. Hello there. I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh well. Scared by all the fighting, I suppose. Hello, Narm. Hi there, Jack. What have you been up to? Let me see. We last saw each other just as I came to your rescue on that schmoll planet. After the explosion, you were busy consoling that Ruthie girl about the loss of her father. You sent me looking for her precious gold needle amongst the wreckage. When I returned, I couldn't seem to find either of you. And I'm sorry to report that I just couldn't find that needle. Anyway, everything turned out just great for me, since I eventually joined up with the IXMF. What is the IXMF? The Interstellar Xenophobic Mercenary Force. Do you enjoy being in the IXMF? It's great, Jack. We get to carry the biggest guns you've ever seen, and shooting things isn't just legal, it's part of our job description. What are you doing here? Our mission is to help the colonists here combat the vicious monsters that are attacking them. Hey, they got bugs, and we're the exterminators. What do the colonists need? Apparently, they want the thing that spawns all the other creatures destroyed, and they'd like to study an unhatched egg. Where are these eggs? Probably somewhere in the labyrinth of caves. 
along with all the creatures. Describe these creatures. Oh, they're real nasty, Jack. But they do make a lovely squishy sound when shot. Be seeing an arm. With you all the way, buddy. Well, what's going on here? Apparently, this planet has been overrun by some hideous creatures. The interstellar xenophobic mercenary force were called in and have done what they do best. They've wandered around showing off their big guns and made lots of noise with some loud explosions. Little boys playing with their toys as usual. It's a good job I got here in time. Do you know how we can help the people on this planet? Well, apparently they need to destroy the creature that spawns all the others. And if they can get hold of one of the eggs, they might be able to work out a biological way of keeping the pests under control. Okay, Jack. I'll deal with the spawner whilst you get these people their egg. Stealing eggs. <laughs> this takes me back to my childhood days. You'll be needing some help, Jack. Just like the good old days, you can always rely on your sidekick, Narm. I'll go ahead and clear the way of those ugly creatures for you. Don't be a fool, Narm. What am I saying? Being a fool is what Narm does best. I have nothing to say. Who are you? My name is Collins. I'm one of the small group of people who are attempting to colonize this place. In fact, I've sort of been unofficially elected to be the leader of the colonists. You look terrible. Why, thanks, pal. But I know what you mean. We're in the middle of a battle with some hideous beasts that we weren't expected to be down here. What are these creatures like? They've got ravenous appetites, and they seem to reproduce at an incredibly fast rate. Mm. Those character traits seem all too familiar. They seem to know no fear, although we have noticed that they react to strong odors. You must be very distressed. You're too right. We were meant to be a peace-loving colony, so we're not really equipped to defend ourselves. How do you calm your nerves? With our stocks of alcohol. Bingo! That was the correct answer we were looking for. You win tonight's star prize. The chance to revitalize a man who has been without drink for far too long. I'm real sorry, pal. We've just finished all our supplies yesterday. That figures. Do you know that guy over there? He's one of the IXMF soldiers sent here by the Federation to try to protect us. Goodbye, and good luck. Thanks. This planet gives me the creeps. Just get on with looking for that egg. Once we've helped out these colonists, we can get back to finding that source of the alien invasion. Colonists, creatures, mercenaries, aliens, invasions. You certainly know how to show a guy a good time. What do I do once I've found an egg? Just give it to the leader of the colonists and wait for me back on the Relentless. What are you doing with that gun? At the moment, I'm planning to use it to blast away the creature that's spawning all the others but I could just as easily use it on a lazy thief who refuses to hurry up and do what his arresting officer tells him to do. I think I understand your subtly hidden message. Can I borrow your gun? You gotta be joking, Jack. I think you're treating our prisoner-captor relationship a little too casually. I'm a busy man. So you should be. I don't feel like talking. It's the bite puppy being kept busy. Arms unwashed socks, enough to stun an elephant at 50 feet. Rifling through Narm's possessions would be too much like performing a psychoanalysis of a lunatic's mind. I'm not touching a flea-infested bite puppy.
It's one of the eggs produced by those slimy creatures. I hope whatever laid the eggs isn't still around. I can't believe you went running off like that, Narm. Yeah, but I found this whole stash of eggs. They're quite tasty, by the way. We'd better get one of the eggs back to the colonists. I don't want to stay in here any longer than I have to. I haven't seen any of those ugly creatures. That's because they can't stand your body odor. I used your socks to repel them. Narm strikes again! I'm not feeling that generous. Here's that egg you wanted. Thank you. How can we ever repay you? Have you got any daughters? I'm afraid not. Got any liquor then? Uh, no. Sorry. Any hard cash? No. Oh well, I guess I did it as a favor then. Thanks for all your help. I have nothing to say. Hey Jack, what a team we make, eh? Want me to come with ya? No, 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 definitely not, Narm. Your place is with the IXMF. You are ideally suited to each other. Okay then, but if you ever need my help again, just send out a message on the IXMF hotline. Hear from you soon. Gotta be going. now have an egg they can analyze. Maybe they can develop a nerve gas that will wipe those creatures out once and for all. Genocide, eh? Have we finally found something you hate more than you hate men? I don't hate men. I just never met one I didn't want to kill, that's all. That's a big difference. Okay, where to now? Well, apparently, the vector to the alien homeworld points to a space station called the Corrupticon. The Corrupticon? That's the headquarters of the Taxmen. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense, does it? Taxmen. I hate those guys. I'm also picking up weird energy readings from that area. Come on, I think we're close to solving this mystery. Hey, I thought we were going to call in the military for this. We can't handle it on our own. Jack, there's no military left. Our Navy's been defeated. The survivors are on the run. We're the human race's only hope of survival. What's taking so long? Shouldn't we be at the Corrupticon by now? Yes, Jack, but we've got a slight problem. Booba seems to have malfunctioned. You mean we're flying around in deep space with a hostile alien invasion force on the loose and our main computer that controls everything on board has freaked out? Stop panicking, Jack. I've managed to alter the navigation systems to take us to the planet nearest to the Corrupticon. We'll just kill some time there whilst Booba reboots the ship's systems. Do you want to know my favorite way of killing time? No, Jack, I definitely do not. Stay out of my way, you useless tick! You're so horrible to me. Give me a break. I guess you're right. Sorry. But don't touch anything on board my ship. What? Not even... Especially the pilot.
Okay, while the computer's rebooting, I'm going to explore. You do that. I'm gonna find some food. I'm starving. What are we doing on this boring rock? We're waiting for Booba to repair the Relentless. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. Nice butt. Lousy sense of humor. This chapel is sacred. You must leave at once. Can you try to get into the altar room? There's food in there, and I want it. Even a prisoner has the right to be fed. I hope you don't expect me to fix all your meals. He's the holiest guy on this planet. What is this place? This is Haven, a tranquil place of rest and worship, where travelers can find food and shelter, warriors can find peace and harmony, and cool people can be bored out of their pants. Yeah, I get the picture. Who lives here? There are only the monks who tend the land, care for the livestock, a little too much in my opinion, and they look after the holy artifacts. What are the holy artifacts? The holy artifacts ensure our peace and harmony. The pillar of light shows us the way. The hexagon of truth shows us how to get there. And the flower of fire gives us the strength for our spiritual journey. Where do the monks come from? The pillar of light brings them forth into the world from the oblivion that is ignorance. They remain here for the rest of their lives. I've always wondered why you religious types wear women's clothes. Many great philosophers have pondered that very question. I guess it's because we can get away with it. Later, pal. I ain't got religion yet. It's a brilliant column of searing light. I have nothing to say. Looks like he's been crushed. It's a hole in the ceiling. It's an offering to the gods. Looks more like an offering to my taste buds. I can't do that. Great, some food at last. Well done, Greedy Guts. You have committed the most heinous of sins. Violation of the sacrifice is almost the worst crime you can commit. You will therefore be in prison for the rest of your natural lives. Think yourself lucky heretics. If you violated the holy flower of fire, the punishment would be death. You and your stomach! How are we gonna get out of this one? Ah, uh, look, 
Sorry about all this. You will be, creep. Just get us out of here. It's a long way down. Now this is a really dumb idea. It doesn't feel right to ruin such a lovely floral display like this. Maybe if I was in disguise. It's a flower. I wonder why it's here all by itself. It's a vat for pressing wine grapes. It's where the pressed grape juice comes out. Much as I'd like a drink, I should keep a clear head right now. some extra zing. Let me try some of this stuff. Now look what you've done. I shall have to wash this wine off my habit. Enjoy your swim, sucker. Don't worry, I'm in control of the situation. Stay in here while I create a diversion. If they think we've both escaped, they'll mess up my plan. I don't know if I can really trust you. Oh, what the heck. Things can't get any worse. I'm gonna lay a trail of clues that leads to this cell. That will divert the guards long enough for me to get to the ship. Don't worry, I'll get us out of this. I feel safer already. Really? You trust in me? No. Flower, our holiest relic. We shall disintegrate the offworlder before the entire monastery. Go and grab the offender from her vile cell and take her to the pillar of light. Bring the offworlder. Go forth and seek the afterlife, sinner. I just live religion. <laughs> I didn't think they were really going to kill her. I'll miss that curvaceous figure and that sharp tongue. I suppose I should carry out her last wish and stop the invaders myself. If I talk to him, he'll know I'm not a monk.
you, Zam. I'm sorry, Booba. There's been an accident. She was captured and... She's hurt? Worse? Oy, why couldn't she listen to her, Booba? Why did I trust her with you? What have you done? Hey, I cared for her too, you know. You cared, Jack? Yeah, well, we've been through a lot together, you know. Zan was okay. The best I could wish for. What are we gonna do now? We should do what she would have wanted. Get to that trans-dimensional rip and deal with the invasion force. Booba, plot a course for the Corrupticon. We're going in. Ooh, you're not such a bad boy, Jack. If only my Yazan was around, who knows? Be well, Jack. output screen for the console. It's a subspace communicator. It looks as if it still works. It's an interstellar phone book. Oops, wrong button. I didn't break it. I didn't. MF toll-free number. I can contact Narm Nippon now. All I need is a communications console. That's it. I've beamed the coordinates of this station to Narm. Maybe he can help me stop this station from blowing up. And if he can't, I don't see why I should be the only one to get killed. Thanks for coming, old pal. Thanks for coming, old pal. That's a stupid question, even for you, lad. When you stole a transition from me before, it got shot by your idiotic sidekick, Nam. It sent me and my fortress into another dimension. Then when the invaders came through, I snuck back to... What happened here? The tax men were storing all their files on everyone in the known universe in dimension 238, thought to be uninhabited. But it wasn't. Then, when the transitron was broken, it gave those aliens from the other dimension the opportunity to come into our dimension. They were pretty annoyed about all the paper floating about in their space, apparently. They used the remnants of the transitron to open the dimensional anomaly which runs through this station. But because there's a piece of the transitron missing, 
the anomaly is unstable. If the transitron was repaired, it could close the portal between the dimensions, and the resulting imbalance would suck the invading fleet back to where it came from. I don't know where the last piece of the transitron is. I'm in too much trouble to talk to you. What the heck is that? Ugh, I feel sick. Thank the stars. You're safe. Uh, not that I care, you understand. Uh, but this place is about to go ballistic. How are we gonna get out of this one? We've got to close the portal. It was created here, and if we can shut it off, the invaders will be cut off from their homeworld, so they'll have to surrender. Have you seen a purple crystal called a transitron anywhere? I got it, but it didn't have any effect on the anomaly, so I left it there. How did you get here? I thought you were dead. You're so dumb! Those monks were a tired taxman! The Pillar of Light is a teleport device where they send taxmen too old to work anymore. They can't let them back into society, not with what they know. Their memories must be wiped too, so they're oblivious to the truth. Since you're safe, can you save my life, please? We need to close the anomaly. It started here, so there must be a way to close it here, too. Catch you later, babe. It looks like the Pillar of Light. Thanks for coming, old pal. Did you see what happened to the rest of the Transitron when you shot it back on Shmuel? Yeah, it lodged in my helmet. Here, you can have it. Okay, I'll tell the court you helped me save the galaxy. Hey, I did all the work. You're not taking the credit for my heroism. What heroism? Listen, you sniveling piece of...